Let's move on to the apparent second assassination attempt on Donald Trump. God, it's been happening today. The former president says he's safe and well and says he will never surrender after a man was arrested following an incident on Mr. Trump's Florida golf course. Secret Service agents opened fire after they spotted a concealed firearm about 500 yards away from him. Let's hear more. In the bushes where this guy was is a 8K47 style rifle with a scope two backpacks which were hung on the fence that had uh, ceramic tile in them, and a GoPro, which he was going to take pictures of. As they have an agent that jumps one hole ahead of time to where the president at, was at. And he was able to spot this rifle barrel sticking out of the fence and immediately engage that individual, at which time the individual took off. So, so many questions here. Why would you say we got a secret agent who is one step ahead of him? Uh, he's playing the next hole. You know, that guy's cover's blown. The suspect is Ryan Wesley Ruth, according to global media reports, citing law enforcement officials. Anyone does a selfie in a flak jacket, immediate red flag. Reports based on his social media activity suggest he may have voted for Trump in 2016, but he was registered as an unaffiliated voter in 2012. And after the attempt on Mr. Trump's life in July, he reportedly posted, I will be glad when you're gone. So we, there was sound, Trump said he heard popping. I, I can't work out whether shots were fired, but that may have been the agents. Yeah, it's not, it's not saying whether shots were, were, were fired or not. Um, and I do think, I suppose I want to bring some of this, you know, I'm glad Trump is safe just because I don't agree with him politically on, on everything doesn't mean I want any politician to fear for their life or be assassinated. But I do think, you know, we do need to keep coming back to America's gun laws. This guy had an AK-47. Yeah. There are every single week children being murdered by guns in schools, in the streets, mm. by accident. And when these the second assassination Trump on Trump, you can absolutely guarantee the one thing he's not going to take from this is, oh, well, maybe we just need to control this guy having such easy access to an AK-47. Mm. That's just not going to change. Unfortunately, so. when, once these guns are out there, you can't really recall them. You might be able to recall them from good people, but you can't from bad people. Well, no, I mean, so the, that it, ship has sailed. I think the, the, the worrying mix you've got in America is easy access to guns and political polarisation, and that is not a good mix. And my worry is, is this a foreshadow of far worse to come, whatever the outcome of the presidential election? And if, for example... And social media holes, a lot of these people yeah, of are, are going down. You know, apparent, apparently his, his, some of his reasoning is, is over Ukraine. That he he wants yeah, more yes. support for Ukraine. But I think the it's Ukraine. not like a terrible it's not like a terrible thing. But it's it's like wh when did you get to the when did you get to the point where you pick up an AK forty seven and try and assassinate it's a well, but possible can, prime minister? Well, the justification Sorry, in his head will probably be Trump will abandon uh, Ukraine to its fate or something along those lines. I'd imagine that would be his yeah. rationalisation. But I just think my worry is, for example, if Trump doesn't uh, if he doesn't win the election, but then claims this time he definitely has. And last time we saw what happened with the assault on the Capitol, basically a, 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 an attempted armed uprising in the United States against the election results. But this time he's definitely not going to go down, is he? If he mm. loses, he's got a good chance of winning. But even then, you could see him trying to attack American democracy. Know, yeah. You I, should worry. I just I would worry about America because the polling there, the polling says most Americans fear a civil war in the coming years. I, I, you can I, see I why think, that could happen. As I understand it, if, I don't know if Trump is a narcissist, but I, I hear people saying that he is. Narcissists can't ever accept re any reality that diverges from their own grandiose opinion of themselves. Hence, Trump has to say he won the last election and it was stolen. If you lose two elections on the trot, I think it gets really hard to create the thing that they were stolen twice. Well, I don't know. I think, think I so. think the ground's more set. I think the Republican Party and the right in America have become far more, even more radicalised since... So he has another go in four years. Well, you could just imagine a load of Republican uh, states say we're not going to accept or certify the election results. And I can yeah. actually imagine that happening. It or, might or, be, actually, if he loses this time, it'll be... A age that will. Stop I think his curtains. Again. I think he genuinely. That's that's game over for him. But I. This election is absolutely fifty-fifty. There's no way of knowing. Okay. After the break, we're asking.